quick one for you today, but I wanted to share a tip to make sure you're getting the most out of your triceps press downs. This is one that far too often I see done with a criminally short range of motion. Sometimes I see this movement performed with maybe 30 degrees of movement, which just isn't very effective at all. Like most exercises, we want to be covering the full range of motion to reap the most benefit. Finding the right range isn't that tough. It just takes a little discipline and perhaps using a little less weight than your ego originally wanted to, but it's well worth it. At the bottom of the repetition, we need your elbows to be fully extended. That's usually easy enough to recognize. Are your arms straight at the bottom? If so, good. With this exercise, it's usually the top where I see people falling short. You want to make sure that your elbow is fully closed at the top of the rep, and there's an easy trick to make sure you're there. At the top of the rep, flex your biceps. So you know if you were to show off your biceps, you flex, you flex at the elbow? That's what we want to do here. If your elbows are closed enough at the top where you can really clench your biceps, you're probably good. You can get much more clench here with your elbow closed than you can at any spot before that. And while we're at it, this is a useful trick for really most triceps exercises. So feel free to use it for more than just your press downs. It works the other way too. You want to make sure your elbows are all the way open at the bottom of a biceps curl? Flex your triceps. Easy. That's it. Quick one. Full range with your press downs means much better results.